Hey, it's Hawken with Top Don. Just wanted to do a quick tech tip video for you here on the auto auth login process. Some of you have been a little bit confused by the screens that are populating on the Phoenix series tools when you go to log into a vehicle, such as a Stellantis, Dodge, Chrysler, etc., that uses the auto auth service. So we're just going to give you a quick rundown. There are some basic requirements that you are going to have for any auto auth situation. Number one, your scan tool has to have a current subscription. Number two, you have to pay the fee to auto auth, which is a yearly or annual subscription fee. Number three, you have to make sure that you pay the vehicle manufacturer fee within auto auth for the specific vehicle manufacturer. And number four, you have to have strong internet connectivity while you are working on the vehicle. If you do not have all four of those things, you may have issues unlocking the gateway and you may not be able to complete certain repairs on the vehicle. It's also important to note, all of those criteria are a requirement set forth by the vehicle manufacturer as well as auto auth, not the scan tool manufacturer. It is not the scan tool manufacturer who decides this. It is the vehicle manufacturer and auto auth who decide this. So, with that being said, we're going to take you through to the new screen that you're going to see on your tools, just so you have a little bit clearer understanding of what you need to do and how you can verify that you have all the right ingredients in order to unlock the gateway. So let's take a look. So we're going to go on this vehicle and we're going to go ahead and do the auto ID and pull the VIN number. Here's a tech tip. If you do have issues unlocking the gateway, try manually identifying the vehicle. Sometimes the auto VIN will cause a gateway unlocking problem. So if you don't unlock the gateway and you check the other four things we already mentioned, go ahead and try manually IDing the vehicle. Of course, as always, make sure your tool is also fully updated before you spend any time trying to troubleshoot anything else. So here it's gonna pull the VIN, it's gonna reach out and it's going to say, okay, pulls the VIN. It says, hey, this vehicle is confirmed as this identify, uh, identification. And then you're going to get this screen. And this screen here is basically asking you, do you have an auto auth account? And are you going to log in to unlock the gateway on the vehicle? Then we'll take you to the next screen and we'll explain that here in just a moment. Okay, so now we're on the next screen here, and this is the screen that's going to populate after you answer yes to the previous screen. In this screen here, there's a couple of things you need to pay attention to. Number one, you need to make sure that your device serial number matches the serial number not only on the dongle of your Phoenix Series tool, or VCI, also the serial number that you have registered specifically within AutoAuth itself. Then, you need to make sure your email address matches up here. And then we need to look at our diagnostic software validity period. This is checking to make sure that your scan tool actually has a valid and active subscription. Again, that is a condition that is imposed specifically by the vehicle manufacturer and auto auth themselves, not the scan tool manufacturer. Here, you, you will see a message that says, I do not have or you do not have unlock permission. This is not relevant if you are using auto auth and you are working on a North American market vehicle. Disregard this. This is not for North American market. If you have a North American market vehicle, you need to click the next button. When you click the next button, we'll show you what the screen looks like when we skip over to that. Okay, so now you can see we have made it over here to the auto auth login page. Again, all we did on the previous screen was click next after we verified our uh, subscription was current on the tool and our serial number for the tool VCI matched. So now we see the North American login screen here and you can see the region is listed properly as North America. You can see the VIN number should match the actual vehicle you're connected to. And of course, again, right here, we have a serial number check again, specifically that we need to make sure matches the VCI that we are using with our tool. 
Next, you're going to see your uh, login credentials for the AutoAuth website, which is going to consist of your email address and your password. Once you've got all of that verified and everything matches as it should, now you can click the unlocking button. When you click the unlocking button, assuming everything else is correct, you should be able to unlock the gateway and proceed normally. Again, if you have any issues unlocking and you verified all of the steps we mentioned previously, try the manual identification of the vehicle instead of the auto VIN. And if it still doesn't work, then give the hotline a shout. Again, the North American hotline is specifically hours of 9 to 6 Eastern time. And you can find the contact number not only on the screen in front of you. Uh, otherwise, of course, if we ever get a new number, you'll see it on the topdon.us website. So if you have any questions or you run into any other trouble, don't hesitate to hit up the support folks. I'm sure they can help you out is, if needed. But again, we've given you the basics here of what you need to check and how the screen is going to look when you are going to log in to unlock the secure gateway on the Stellantis vehicles. There is no auto auth support currently for Nissan or for Mercedes yet. Both of those are in process of being worked on, but they are not ready to go yet. So as always, I'm Hawking with Top Don. Thanks for watching this quick tech tip video on secure gateway unlocking for Stellantis vehicles with the Phoenix series tool.